Why does it always happen to me? We all have a satisfaction associated with doing something that somebody finds useful. So there's sometimes that we, we feel like we're having more than our share of things happen to us in life. And, you know, yeah, the, the question I pose, why does crap always happen to me? Uh, I've said it. Maybe you've said it. Maybe you still say it. Maybe, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, a theme. And, and so let's explore that because th this is, you know, daily transformation for the bold. And so this is about what do we need to do to become high achievers, to transform, to exceed or excel or, you know, go past our circumstances, the things that are holding us or could hold us back or hold many people back. So let's talk about that. Stuff happens. We all know that. Things happen. In fact, in the coaching program I run, we have a name for that in the results equation. We call that incidental mayhem. So I, it's something happened I wasn't expecting. It. And incidental mayhem may be something microscopic like that, or it may be something larger, like um, two months ago I had to go to the hospital, mid-June, July, August, so two and a half months ago, almost three now. I go to the hospital for five days to have gallbladder surgery and wrecked the whole week and changed a bunch of stuff, right? So that was a little bit larger incidental mayhem. Bigger still, have a tax audit. There's all kinds of ways to have incidental mayhem. Somebody might get really sick or someone might pass away. Here's, here's the real key to achievement, to transformation, having to do with incidental mayhem. You don't control incidental mayhem, neither do I. If a jet engine falls out of the sky and lands and smashes my house, it does. Whenever it happens, and it's a guarantee in life, it's going to happen, and it's going to happen to you, and me, what do we do about it? So one thing that we have a choice to do is to rail against, you know, God, the universe, the neighbor, somebody, anywhere, somebody, somewhere, it's all their fault. That's a possibility. We could rail against somebody and blame them for stuff. That doesn't fix anything. It doesn't even really make you feel better. It just makes you unproductive in other areas. Uh, what we don't do is lay down and be a doormat and say, oh, I'm dead now. What we could do and what is productive and powerful is to say, okay, wow, this terrible thing happened to me. I'm in the hospital. My house is wrecked. Okay, what can I do now? So right now, we've just had these great hurricanes in the U.S., and by some standards, those aren't even big. But Houston's wrecked, and there's umpteen billion dollars worth of damage. And South Florida, same thing with the two hurricanes that have happened recently. And so the question is, okay, now what do we do? Now, now what do we do now? We rebuild. We, the rest of us, we, you know, we help. We send money. We send donations. Uh, we do what we can to participate in, in, in efforts. If we have friends and relatives there, we make sure they're safe and we participate. So things happen in our lives. A business setback, a tax. I remember when I got audited by, many years ago, audited by the Internal Revenue Service in the United States. They disallowed allowed a bunch of stuff and it was going to wreck, like really wreck things. And so I had to hire an accountant and find, you know, umpteen million pieces of paper. And eventually I was able to, you know, dispute it and I didn't owe the zillion dollars, but it cost me a ton of acid indigestion and it cost me a ton of time, which took time away from the recording studio I was running and, you know, all that sort of thing. And when stuff happens to you, first of all, it doesn't just happen to you. It happens to every single person. There are some periods in your life and mine where it's happening more than it might at other times. There may be an extra concentration of rough things happening that seems unfair and overwhelming, but it's not, and it just is what it is. And getting mad about it doesn't fix it anyway. Blaming the world, they, the government, God, the economy, or anything else is stupid. The only thing that matters for transformation and to get something done is to simply say, okay, this is what is, what am I going to do now about it? So if you need to take a moment to rail and get angry, okay, stick your face in the pillow, scream, Primal scream for an hour, okay, good, now that's over, and get back to what are you gonna do next. So the first point is it doesn't just happen to you, it happens to everyone. The second point is that you and I, we each have the same choice when things happen. I can do something about it, or I can complain that stuff always happens to me, right? The third thing is we can, and this is gonna be the extraordinary leap, the transformative piece. Instead of focusing on what's happening to me and what can I do about this to fix me, we can turn outward and be way more focused on those outward around us. Friends, neighbors, colleagues, clients, family, and say, what is my role in serving them? 
because the change that happens when you and me realize that our lives aren't defined by incidental mayhem. They're not defined by what happens to us. They're defined by who we are in the face of what is. And the best and most powerful we can be is loving and serving others regardless of what's going on around us. The first cure is get angry at everything. The second cure is, and that doesn't cure anything, the second action is settle down and do what you can right now and focus on how to fix it. That's necessary and appropriate, but the third and most powerful antidote is to get out of yourself and focus on others. Focus on who you can help, even though you have trouble going on in your own life. My experience in my own life, plus that of many, many clients, has been that when we choose to, when they choose to do that, their own problems shrink in size. They're not overwhelmed anymore. It's less of a problem. They realize other folks have got trouble too. And it's not the silly old saw of, well, other people are worse off than you. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the very act of being in service and being kind gives you power, gives you hope, and creates opportunity for you that you can't see right now. And you will never see it unless you do that. It's opportunity that you will miss. I know that that's true because I've seen it over and over and over again in my life. So when incidental things happen, whether they're incidental or purposeful or someone attacks you, and I use the word incidental mayhem not to mean it was an accident. Incidental mayhem can be a purposeful attack by someone. Incidental simply means it wasn't part of your plan. It was outside of what you meant. When that happens, <clears throat> scream if you need to, settle down to do the work that has to be done given what is around you, and, and then, and with it, turn your focus out. Serve, love, give, be there for others around you. And then, you know what, that question, why does crap always happen to me, will stop even occurring to you. And your life, will be transformed. And from that transformation, larger and more powerful opportunities will come to you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching the videos. Take this opportunity, leave a comment, subscribe most of all, and don't forget to spread the word about this channel.